This next test is your lunge test and I need you to find a straight line that you can put your feet on. So whether that is a mat or whether you use that rod to place your feet. I'm going to show you a side on view first of all so that you can see the setup but I need you to be facing me when you do this for your recording. So from a side on view I'm going to use my dowel rod as my line as a guider. You are going to place your foot, your front foot on that dowel rod on the side. I'm then going to line up and place my back knee onto my front heel and then I'm going to make sure that my back foot is also on that line. So you want to make sure it's not off to the side, you've got both feet in a straight line like your tight rope, tight rope walking. Then from here you're going to just lift up you can place your hands on your hips if you choose and then slowly back down. Now not everyone has the balance or the strength for this so if you do need to use that pole just to help you with balance then please do for the first few. If you can then get used to it and not use that pole then please get rid of the pole so that I can see that you've got the strength and the balance to do this without. You're then going to change over to the other foot so I'll show you the view that I need you to do for me. You're going to place your foot down on that mat, bring the back heel in the front heel into that back knee, use that back foot so that it's on the same line as the mat and then we're coming up and back down. Now again my top's a little bit baggy, I can't really see my hips because I don't have any waist definition here. So a couple of options, you can either tuck your top in again to come up and back down or you can have the hands on the hips so I can visibly see what those hips are doing as you're coming down and up. So three repetitions on each leg please and send that through.